Rather than focusing on no fat, focus on your goals. This is because when we're on semen retention, when we're on no fat, our mind is constantly thinking about not bussing. Our mind is constantly thinking about our streak, the day we're on, day 100, day 269, seven hour. <laughs> the more that we are thinking that we must not fat, that we must not bust because it's day 100, the more resistance we are giving ourselves. Instead, focus on a thing that you'd rather be doing with that energy. So you're probably deep down in this no fat rabbit hole and you must have heard that the seed that we were just so casually spilling is so valuable. It's life force, life energy. It's enough power to create a child. The fact that we're just wasting it on IG models, on some fake shit, on some pixels, is it's a bit mad in napoleon hills think and grow rich he talks about sexual transmutation and bear in mind this was in 1936 and the idea of no fat wasn't as big as it is today and you probably already know the side effects of porn so let's not even jump into that rabbit hole if we want to focus on our attention our energy our, our focus onto the things we'd rather be doing so an example would be starting your own business instead of thinking about not fapping not fapping think about what that business needs from you. Maybe it needs a particular knowledge that you don't yet have. So you visualizing that process would be you reading a book on that certain skill set, maybe talking to a mentor of that particular field. Whatever it is, just focus on that. Don't just focus on the one big end goal. Think of the journey that that would take. Again, with the reading, you need a certain skill set. What else would you need? Maybe you need to improve your communication skills, your people skills, your sales skills. What does that look like? Like I'm saying it in words, but what does that look like? Is it you is it you being nervous when you're about to ask a potential mentor of yours? Is it you sending a hundred emails a day? What is what does the process of that end goal look like? Yeah, instead of occupying your mind with useless streaks and whatnot, focus on the journey of what that would look like. And I I've, that's been doing me so well because yes, I'm visualizing and manifesting and all that, but I'm also realizing what steps I need to know, which is the next step, which is the most immediate step. Maybe your end goal is to have your dream body. Yes, the end goal is you having a six pack and looking completely shredded, but what is the process of that? Maybe it's you, of course, <laughs> lifting weights and whatnot and doing push ups. But also think about you putting away the yoga mat at the gym. Think about you exiting the gym feeling accomplished. Think about you chatting away to the receptionist or whatever just with the end goal it's not just the end goal it's a lot of other variables that you can occupy your mind with instead of just no fap and semen retention because semen retention and no fap is good like but there's more to life than just focusing on on those things like you still do them but don't focus on them hamza says that the peak stage of no fap is that you forgot you are a no fap just completely forget about it and that is true just going back with what i was saying with the resistance you create with yourself when you're constantly thinking about not fapping of retaining that seed whatever you want to whatever yeah that mental luggage of keeping up with the streaks limits you in your day what if you break your streak on day 101 are you going to feel less of a person are you going to feel like a failure and that creates more resistance and then eventually you're going to need to fap again like <laughs> I think the process of filling a bad habit with a goal is overlooked. Say if you only had one side of it where you were trying to get rid of fapping, but you didn't have a goal, so you didn't have nothing to look forward to, nothing to strive towards, nothing to nothing to model your day after, you had none of that. And let's say you're not trying to fap. Eventually you could do really well. But because you don't have anything to do instead of that, you kinda just fall back to your old ways, your old system, your old way of being. So now we bring in a goal. We can now have something our mind focus on rather than streaks or not fapping instead we can focus on the benefits the thing worth doing the things we actually want to do imagine if we were trying to clean our diet yes we can cut away all the junk foods and the takeaways but if we didn't learn new recipes new healthy recipes meal preps what foods are actually good for us then we don't know we don't know what to do from here on out so we kind of just fall back into our old way of being not necessarily because we're bummy but because we don't have a new system to model after because we don't have a new way of doing things, we have no choice but to go backwards because we don't know any better. As good as it is that we've taken a first step in acknowledging these bad habits and knowing that we need to get rid of them, we need we need something better, something better than fapping. We need things to motivate us and make us forget about porn and 
whatnot. These cannot be small goals either. These goals need to be better, bigger, bigger than porn, bigger than something as addictive and curated as porn. So that means we can't do half ass goals that we set for ourselves because we're too scared of failing with bigger goals. This is where I made a mistake earlier in my goal setting journey. So I made the goal 500 pounds a month through passive income online. That's shit, bro, because I wasn't even making it at my day job. So then obviously, why would I strive for that when I'm already making more at my day job? You get what I'm saying? 500 pounds a month, passively, nothing nothing really shifted with my motivation when I set that goal. But then when you start setting goals like 3,000 pounds a month, 10,000 pounds a month, two things, you realize, because the more research you do, you realize that these goals aren't actually that big and they're not as hard to attain as I perceive them to be. And second of all, those goals at this moment in my life, those figures are life-changing money. 10,000 pounds a month passively will help me in my education so much without, you know, you know, without the extra stresses of paying rent and school supplies. Cause imagine approaching education with such enthusiasm because you're not, because you're not stressed out with money. That is a luxury that I feel like I deserve. And yeah, that, that shit gets me out of bed and is bigger than porn. But yeah, I feel like I've gotten to that point where I don't know what day I'm on regarding NoFap. I don't care. And it's pretty nice because randomly, randomly throughout my day, I'd be going through my presents and stuff and randomly I just catch myself, whether it's in the car or, or someplace random, I just catch myself. I'm like, oh yeah, I've not, I've not fapped in a while. And then I just continue my day like nothing. Like that's the bliss, <laughs> the bliss moment of NoFap. Another sick benefit from NoFap that I didn't even, that I didn't even clock coming into this. As you get better at, at not fapping, <laughs> as you get better with semen retention, I don't know if this is scientifically proven, but my willpower has seemed to increase and that helps quite a bit. And that's quite lovely because as my willpower increases, the more easier it is not to fap and then because it's not easy for me to fap, the more willpower there is. It's a mad cycle. I guess what they say, uh, the easier, you know, the more you do it, the easier it gets and it applies both ways still. You forget about no fap because you are simply being love.